Hello everybody and welcome to Lunch Break Live. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms, grandmoms, stepmoms, and pet moms. We hope you are enjoying your day today. I'm Sandra, co-author of the 40-year-old vegan cookbook. I'm the 59-year-old vegan helping you get leaner, cleaner, and greener at any age with plant-based cooking like today's dish, our Thai mango salad. Now, if you've been waiting for those mangoes to get ripe while they're sitting on your counter and you just can't wait, use an unripened mango. That is the main ingredient for our Thai mango salad. Hey, Betty Ann Cornwall just joined us. Hey, Betty Ann, we're making a Thai mango salad and this is the perfect salad to make if you have mangoes that have not turned ripe. You want the green mangoes, you want them to be super hard, not that sort of creamy, sweet, orange colored flesh. And that's what we're gonna make today. We're gonna start off uh, just by saying you're gonna want to have some type of plant-based protein for your salad. In the Thai restaurants, I usually put chicken or shrimp. So I've just uh, made some tofu, I put it in the air fryer. You can use any kind of plant-based protein you want on top. We're going to start by making our salad dressing because I want it to marinate a little bit. And uh, the dressing is really sweet and it's got a little bit of a fiery um, uh, flavor to it as well. So we're going to start, we've got some uh, clove of garlic in here and we are going to add one of my favorite ingredients. It's coconut aminos. I get these at Trader Joe's and it's like soy sauce, but they're a little bit sweeter, not quite as salty. Really love it. Hey, Susan just joined us. Susan Anderson, thanks for joining us on Lunch Break Live. We're making a Thai mango salad today. It's so fresh and has such vibrant flavors. So we've got our garlic. We're adding some coconut aminos to our garlic. And the next thing we're gonna add is a beautiful maple syrup. So we've got the saltiness of the coconut aminos, which tastes like soy sauce. We've got the sweetness of the maple syrup. We've got a little bit of fresh lime juice, give it some edge. And we've got rice wine vinegar. Also cuts through that richness and that sweetness a little bit, gives it some depth of flavor. And then a pinch of red pepper flakes. You can put as much or as little as you like on here. And I wanna just let this sit and marinate for a while while we're making the rest of our dish. For those of you just joining us, we are making a Thai mango salad and the main ingredient is unripened mangoes you don't want that soft fleshy mango you want the unripened mangoes for this so we'll let our dressing sit here we'll talk about our ingredients so you want to get a mango that's super hard not ripen the green mango and uh, some people will run this i i took a uh, potato peeler and i peeled the skin off so this is it without the skin and then some people will then take it and run it over a mandolin because you want to make these thin matchstick cuts. But what I found better than the mandolin, which I like a lot, this is a vegetable peeler. And on one side, it's a normal peeler, but on the other side, it will make the perfect size strips for this salad. So let's see if we can get this up close so you can see how these strips work. It's a little bit hard. I'm going to pull it out and show you. So when you, when you take that peeler, Watch this. It goes into perfect little strips. Aren't those beautiful? So I'll do it again, show you one more time. We've got, oh, Susan Hosage, my twin sister and co-author, just joined us. Greetings from Pennsylvania. Susan is in Pennsylvania, I'm in California. We do a lot of talking coast to coast and talk about food and recipes and all sorts of great things. And Susan loves Thai food, and I, but I don't know if you've ever had the Thai mango salad and made with unripened mangoes. So I'll show you this cool gadget again. I think I got this on Amazon, but it's got one side vegetable peeler. The other side makes these cool shreds. Can you see? It's a little hard to see. I'll pick it up again and show you. It makes these cool, thin shreds, just like if you were to run it through a mandolin. Uh, and it's a little bit safer, a little bit easier. And so you're gonna wanna take about four of these unripened mangoes and make the shreds. And I uh, cut a bunch of them earlier, so I'll show you what they look like. So you've got these beautiful shreds. And when you use the mango that's not ripe, it's much more uh, tart. And as you can see, you couldn't do this with a ripe mango. It would not shred like this because it's too creamy and soft. So you want to get your mangoes to this state. The next thing you wanna do is take that same 
peeler I had and you want to shred a carrot and you don't want too much carrot you still want the mango to be the main ingredient in there so you're just gonna mix this up yes I'm using my clean hands I like to get get into it a little bit feels good nice and cold and fresh and uh, we've got some other great ingredients in this that are very Thai first of all I'm taking about two tablespoons worth of a spring onion but I also cut those in tiny shreds can you see these tiny shreds of green onion and as you can see the colors in this just beautiful vibrant the flavors we haven't even put our dressing on yet and everything is so fresh uh, another thing that is very common in Thai food are two herbs one is basil another is mint now if you can find Thai basil get it but I have regular basil here I could not find Thai basil at my store and you want to take about six large leaves uh, Biddy Ann says do you have to worry about the seed when cutting the mango no the nice thing is the seed there is a big seed in mangoes but just keep scraping until you start to see a little bit of white where you see that seed coming through and then just turn it over um, it is a, a little unwieldy but I find that it's much easier to cut the mango that way using this than it is when you're using a, a knife and trying to cut around that big seed because that's a little bit of a pain so uh, I have my big fresh basil leaves and these give so much incredible flavor and what I'm doing is I'm just piling them one on top of another six big leaves and then I'm going to roll them up and once you roll them up you just give them a nice little uh, shred like a ribbon it's called a chiffonade of basil and these look so pretty in this salad it brings some extra color and so I'm gonna add that to the top of my salad and then as if the basil wasn't enough I'm gonna do the same thing with my mint leaves so I, I have about six mint leaves here and it's so fresh and so delicious and whenever I smell mint I just get a burst of energy it's so incredible so I'm gonna do the same thing with the mint that I did with the basil and I'm gonna just shred it coarsely and so now we have our ingredients I'm just gonna take my tongs and mix them all in so this is really about 90% mango and just a little shred of carrot for color some people will put in a very hot red chili pepper into this so sometimes when you get this at a restaurant you will feel the heat I did not add the chili pepper uh, but I did put some chili flakes in the dressing so you can see this beautiful colorful salad so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna plate this and we're gonna add the dressing I'm not gonna let it sort of soak in the dressing I'm just going to drizzle the dressing on top so I have my dish I'm gonna put a nice big pile in the middle of my dish I like to get all those colors on top and you can smell the mango you can smell that green onion the mint really jumps right out at you too then I'm going to take the dressing that we made earlier actually I'm going to wait one more time I'm going to actually add our our protein next we're adding our tofu cubes and I just put these in the air fryer oh I would say 375 degrees for about 12 minutes you can cook cook them however you like and then I'm gonna drizzle my dressing on top I'm not gonna pour it on because I really want the flavor of the fruit to come through I want that vibrancy so I'm just gonna take some of that dressing and just do a nice little drizzle um, and there's gonna be plenty of this dressing to go around I always make a little bit extra because I like to have it just for any kind of veggies and then as is often used in Thai dishes some crunchy crushed salted peanuts roasted peanuts and you definitely want the salty ones for that nice contrast and that nice crunch I'm going to put some fresh mint leaf on top let me open that up so it looks a little bit prettier okay there's our fresh mint leaf I'm gonna serve it with a little wedge of lime put a little spring onion there 
And that's our beautiful mango salad. Let's give it a try. And again, when you use the unripened mango, there's more of a tartness to the salad. And so it's got a really different flavor and the, and the mango is very firm and, and crispy. Oh, so fresh, so fresh and so vibrant. And all of those flavors, you get a little bit of heat from the red chili. You have a sweetness from the mango. You have the fresh mint and the basil. This is a perfect summertime salad. And I'm gonna post the recipe for you, but make sure you give it a try. It's so easy and so colorful. And it's really, uh, you just can't mess it up. It's too easy. So I'm gonna post the recipe, share it with the people you love, maybe your mom and maybe everybody else in your family. And know that when you're eating plant-based diet, it's cruelty-free, it's good for you, it's good for the planet. And I wanna thank you for joining me here today on Lunch Break Live. I'm Sandra from the 40-Year-Old Vegan Cookbook, and I'll see you next Sunday on Lunch Break Live.